This is a Super Soco 60 volt 30 ampere battery. It's just starting to melt that terminal. You can see the shiny copper wire is burnt. You see, that's discolored and it's burned. It's got a blackest tinge to it. And the silly thing is, is all of these tiny little wires here, right, they are so close to this here. See, and this, this tape is not holding it. It's got some tape and just put on it. Played with this before. See, there's a rip in the insulation. And if you look here, you can see it's greyed out. And then somebody's taken a pair of cutters to here and to here, which happens to be the main positive on both sides. So consequently, I've now got to fix their mistake. I suspect when they changed the top, because this was invalid, so I'm assuming that they had a meltdown in here and they've changed the got some split hose. There we go. Now this cable here, first four batteries on this side and the five batteries on this side, this is the link wire for them. really safe these are just temperature sensors so so I plugged I plugged that in so now I've still got the BMS I've cut the I've cut the XD60 connector off and made a hole and basically this is all going to go down and then fit like so, fit like so, I'm going to put the XD60 through a grommet, this is the finished thing with the grommet, the XT60 connector Right, this is my battery, XT60 connector mod, which is coming out to an XT90 connector. This is something that I'd uh, already installed on another bike. Underneath here is a um, shunt that detects voltage and ampage, and then back through to the circuit breaker. And it has a tap off, which is here, which then goes off to a coolant counter, which I've threaded up through and comes out here and one cooling camera still got to set it but as you can see if I switch it on if I switch it on you see it comes up turn the high beam on 